Today we're going to change out the spring assembly for the uh, Sega 12 shotgun. This is also the same as the 12 gauge, 20 gauge, and 410 in the Sega, and also the Vepper 12. This is a telescopic assembly that rides back and forth on the back of the carrier, and a lot of times if you have a weak load, it flexes so much that it can actually jam the gun because this part flexes up and down, it can hit the hammer, it can hit a lot of things inside instead of riding back and forth smoothly. What the JTE does is it is a much smoother part, CNC stainless steel with a Delron sleeve, it does not allow any flexing at all. So it's definitely a great upgrade uh, for your Sega shotgun or your Vepper shotgun uh, firearm. Now we're going to reuse the back section here that slides into the dust cover and locks the dust cover down in a place with the rear trunnion. There is a pin right here. Uh, you can look at both sides of the pin and it looks like it was pressed in from the right side so we're going to press it out that way. You're going to need a really good punch and a vise. Lock that in tight. Set our punch on the pin. Now, with the correct tools, this comes out very easily. Now that you've got it started, you get to switch to a smaller punch. Switch over to a smaller punch and tap it out. I noticed I didn't tap the pin all the way out just enough. Just enough to release the telescopic rod in here. The pin sits in that track. It's going to do the same thing on the new JTE Performance stainless steel sleeve. It's got a little cutout too, just like that. This is going to sit right back into position. So you're going to set this in here. It's going to sit back in just like it came out. And then you're going to tap the pin back in place. If the bottom piece secure, you're going to take the stainless steel rod and slide it down in. It should be flush here. Take your hammer and tap the pin back into place. And now this is complete. Now we're going to install it back into the gun. You have the back section of your recoil assembly. Place a spring on it. Take the Delron sleeve. Slide it into position. Like that. And you're going to take your uh, dust cover, you're going to slide it on like that. Take your front spring, slide it on like that, insert it into the back of the carrier, rotate your dust cover, and put back in position just like that. There's a much smoother glide on the rails when the sleeve is not flexing like it was with the original factory telescopic one.